Hello everyone, super quick video today. I just want to introduce you to a new project of mine. It's called Greetings from the Hole. So I can't really describe the project better than our bio did. Greetings from the Hole irreverently throws caution and their formal training in jazz and classical composition to the wind. Combining the genre-bending absurdist tendencies of Mr. Bungle, the hard-hitting raw production style of Death Grips, and windows that open up into the abyss of avant-garde contemporary music, this duo draws listeners into a comic nightmare where elements of metal, electroacoustic music, jazz, disco, music, and funk topple over one another and fuse together in a bizarre and colorful dreamscape. So the project kind of started out as this routine of jamming together in the morning and coming up with like recordings by the end. First, uh, I guess you could call it song that we did, uh, was I think based on a phrase that Phil heard in his dream or something. I was walking in the park the other day. Combined with some improvised punchline to that phrase that I came up with on the spot. And then we kind of realized that it, it could be kind of an ad for cream cheese. So you can find the video in the cards. And we decided to kind of move forward with a theme of ads or fake ads. And we realized that making those music videos was just pretty time consuming when we started to do the math of how much time each one took. Kind of just wasn't realistic for us to do this on an ongoing basis, especially considering <laughs> at first we wanted to make it like a weekly thing and that you can't really do anything else if this is going to be like a, a weekly music video basically. Uh, but eventually we decided that we needed to do something with it because it was only on YouTube. So we decided to turn it into an EP and add a couple songs to kind of tie the whole thing together. If you want to understand why this music is so weird, well, you need to understand the people, which are basically just Phil and I. So, <clears throat> so this is Phil. Now and then, there's a fool such as, such as I so Please don't go watch this video because unfortunately it is the most watched video on my channel by a factor of 10. Don't dismiss Phil too quickly because he is a very serious person. We went to high school together and we played in a progressive metal band at the end of high school and if you saw the video I did a few weeks ago about Chris Hemmings, he was the leader of that band in this clip. In more recent times, he's switched to mostly contemporary music. Musically speaking, you can tell that just this guy on his own is pretty intense. But then when you add me into the picture, having my background also in metal, but also in jazz, that resulted in kind of really weird stuff like this. The direction that I've been taking more uh, recently, which is more of a, I guess, pop production direction, doing weird stuff like this. Given our backgrounds and our combined weirdness, it should be no surprise to you that what comes out is just like... <laughs> It's hard for me to say this because I've never actually heard these songs for the first time, but I can imagine hearing them there. You just have like no idea what's going on. So if you like to be challenged by the music you listen to 
and or confused, then it might be worth your time to check out this project. Check out the link to our YouTube channel in the description, which you can subscribe to, and I hope that you do for some funny music videos and some funny future content related to future music, because we have some pretty epic plans for our next EP. You can also find the pre-save and follow link for st all streaming platforms also in the description and there's also social media stuff which i'll put up on screen and you can also find in the description as well and tell your friends about this project because i am personally very excited to put this stuff out and to move forward with this project because it is so liberating to be able to do whatever you want and it be coherent to at least one other person on the planet and that person being phil i find that our our skill set and backgrounds are very complementary and there's a slight overlap, but mostly we're kind of filling each other's uh, gaps in knowledge in pretty interesting ways. And that's a very exciting prospect to think about and to move forward with. Blah, blah, blah. All those descriptions and handles and links and stuff in the description. And I will see you next week.